Okay, this is Rock Range, and uh, this is uh, this is a gear section on uh, on the Stranglehold bass. This is uh, an MXR um, phase script, phase 90, and I think it was made by Dunlop in the 70s. Came out about 74, and uh, I always set it at about 10 o'clock, and that's how I got the Stranglehold tone. This is the PJ bass that I made, and I think it's a 62 body. And I'm not sure about the neck. And actually, I used to have different uh, tuners on it back in the day. But uh, this will give you an idea. Pretty much the strangle hope base. I, I sanded all the finish off the base. Down here, I put a master, a master volume um, on. And this is another phase switch here. And which I didn't really use that much. I guess it just gave me some different tones. And I put a toggle on up here. Uh, this toggle, I would always run on stranglehold in the center and I would run more of the P bass pickup these are pre CBS P, uh, P bass pickups and I'd run it I'd run it so that this this was a little bit louder than this pickup so that I got some highs on it and I played it with a pick um, back in the day we used the studio guys always wanted us to use picks I did both um, on the album but uh, the pick on stranglehold with brand new rota sounds made it sound really good this is my gig bag over here. This friggin' gig bag has been through <laughs> through the mill, man. Uh, actually, this is a really cool sticker. This is an early Montrose sticker. I don't know if you can really see it anymore, but it's, it's just gone. Right about there, it says Montrose. And uh, that was a cool sticker. But I would take this uh, base gig bag. The zipper's broken now. And uh, here's one of our old uh, tour stickers. And I would take it on the airplane and I would convince the uh, uh, flight attendants to let me put it in the uh, in this in the closet with everybody's with all the businessman's uh, uh, suit coats um, carry-ons and they would do it it was cool they uh, so this traveled with me on the plane and I would carry it into the uh, airport and then uh, uh, it got it didn't have to go underneath the plane and the uh, anvil cases and that, uh, that's what I did, that's why I traveled. All right, man, a little bit of history here. All right, we're out of here.